intro video. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Okay. Drum and bass. Just open some chips right there. Chips. <laughs> And here we go. What's up, everybody? It's Danny back here again at Excellent Sound with my partner, Parker Ament. What's up, guys? <laughs> We're here in Hollywood, California, here today to show you guys how to make some Tynan just like this. That's what we're going to be making. Oh, what? Uh huh. And that's how you do it. The end. Just kidding. <laughs> the end. <laughs> I like to talk like this, Parker says, that talk in the mic. Yeah, literally like under the mic. Just, what's up, guys? So what you just heard right there was our remake of Tynan's Somewhere, Somehow, Something, Something or Other. Someone. We basically, someone. <laughs> we got, count them, one, two, three presets and racks to give away to you guys for being our best friends on YouTube. Fat presets, by the some way. Some fat Super presets. Super fat ones. And uh, we got some extra special announcements for you guys today. Gonna let you guys know right away that you're gonna be the pre pre sale. The pre sale. Thank you, Parker. Which is basically the sale. For uh for the elites and the public. Future bass. And the excellence are gonna be in the description below. It's coming so up quick. It's coming up super fast. April first, guys. And also as per use, all the sounds used, all the samples made in this project will be available in Future Bass in the Signature Series portion. Signature Series. Which contains all of the uh, samples that we have been making, stockpiling uh, from all our prior you It's going to be videos. huge. Huge. Yes, it's going to be a, a big one, including this Tynan kick, which sounds like this, which we made for the drop. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that sounds great. And, oh, this, you know, bouncy. fuck it, I'm going to put the snare in it's there, too. Bouncy. And the Tynan snare is also in there. Ooh. Oh. Smacks you right in the face. Uh. How about some sub? Like Let's bamboo some sub. sword. Ooh. Mm. Sounds pretty good, right? That. And today, but you're going to get for absolutely free, free 99, is these three sounds which we're making. Uh, the main sound, which sounds like this. Yep. Made that shit. Of course, uh, the classic fill. It's like a rip and dip kind of sound. Yeah, almost. And uh, this sound, this song's really cool because it like Parker's like, oh, dude, like, how does he like make these sounds? Yeah, it's just literally just sound after sound after yeah, sound after it's sound. It's really like, cool production. It's like really interesting. Used yeah. a lot of like foley and stuff. But I want, I knew a lot of it when I heard it. I was like, oh, that's like some like foley. That's like a piece of paper getting crunched up or something. Yeah. But I wanted to make this like weird birdie sound that's in the track. It sounds like this, right, right above. <laughs> So I thought that's kind of like a cool, fun thing to show you guys. You can use it as whatever. Whatever. We're going to fuck with it. Yeah, it's super fun. Um, so we're going to show you guys how to do that. I think what we're going to do first is let's get right into it. I'm going to show them the, the main bass. Let's do right it. Right away. Okay? Let's do it. So, I think that sounds great. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and shift command T to make a new MIDI track right here. I'm going to pull my MIDI down just like that. Option click drag is how you do that, folks. If you haven't been paying attention, you fucking should. All right. Next thing we're going to do, uh, I'm going to toll down this... Uh, this rack I have here, which is in the download description below. So make sure you guys grab that. And also, too, if you're new here, go ahead and give us a nice saddy wub, a saddy scrub, saddy scrub. Right down below. Yeah. If you want to subscribe to us, that'd be great. If not, then fuck you. You guys are having a good time. You know, <laughs> good time. download just the free out. presets. Nope. Don't, no, no, you know? fuck you. It's fine. Just hang <laughs> out. Just have a good time. Just a little quick fuck you. Just a quick little fuck you, but that's fine. Just take a <laughs> We're the only YouTube channel that says fuck you if you don't subscribe to <laughs> <Yeah>. us. <laughs> that's fucked up. You don't have to. You can just hang out and watch, okay? You could just, you know, ghost us. Ghost you know us, what I'm saying? Dude, ghost Just watch us. us. <laughs> pretend, pretend like uh, pretend you know we like don't exist saw. and you never saw. Tell your friends. Tell your friends you stole our presets yeah. and stuff. You know, it's not stealing if it's free. Exactly. Or is it? <laughs> dude, you're <laughs> fucked up. We're fucked up. Take whatever you want. Thanks for being here. Thanks for learning with us. I hope I didn't offend you or my stupid friend Parker here. <laughs> you're not stupid, dude. Dude, I'm just fucking up. Just dude. a little, a little offensive. Yeah, you know. We're getting right into it. All right, all right I'm gonna go ahead right and pull in. this serum right into here. I'm gonna turn off this rack and we'll go through one by one. Uh, so right now it should be sounding like this. <laughs> <laughs> it never gets old. So sick, dude. You don't even have the right one up, man. Is this not the right one? No, bro. We need to go to the lead bass. Bass. Main bass. Yeah, that's it. Right there. there. We go. 
Boom. Bam. Okay. First things first. Let's make serum bigger because that's too small. And I care about my audience. Large. Large and in charge. Make your serums large marge for us. And go ahead and set it to basic shops, which is right there. We're gonna because you know what? Here at Excellent, we like to use basic shapes, okay? We're All a bunch, the time. We're a couple basic bitches here. Get some Starbucks. Starbucks? That's right. And fucking Pumpkin spice lattes. Vap Nation. And we vap, dude. Fuck it. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. That was attractive. Sorry for your ears. Super attractive. Okay, so basic shapes, sine wave is what we're looking for. We're going to set this to seven waves of unison. We got a lot of sounds to make, so we got to get this shit going. Uh, Detune, turn down to like 0.15. That looks good. Wavetable's good. We're going to go ahead and set this to FM from B. This is kind of like a classic uh, uh, house, like kind of wub, like a joyride wub yeah. uh, sound. It's really nice. And then it's got some, well, it's, it's not your classic. It's kind of starts from there. That's where I started from, and then I got the rest of it. Uh, FM from B, we're going to be set up to like uh, 31% is what we're looking for. That's the number. And then go ahead and turn the volume all the way down just like that. Turn the random down. Also, we don't want any of that. And everything else is looking pretty good. Right, my friend? Looks fantastic. Thanks, dude. That's why you're there. Excellent. Check things. Excellent. Looks excellent. Uh, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to make my first LFO. And I'm going to drag this over to like... Let's say like right, right at the like the O, like that. Yeah. And this is the shape we're going to be looking for. I'm going to click this and pull this down, just like that. I'm going to round this guy up, just like that. A little bit of a shark fin, Jaws. Shout out Jaws, Icon. What up, best friend Sam? Not really. I talked to him a couple times. Yeah. He doesn't return my calls. Oh god. <laughs> yes, not on a date. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do some. Uh, I'm going to do some uh, macros in this one too for you guys. Because fuck it, why not? Set it to half, just like that. Throw LFO 1 onto the level 1. should be sounding like this. Very nice. Sounds like a reverse kind of thing. Yeah, it's very it's very nice. Um, next thing we're going to do is go do an oscillator B. Oscillator B is also going to be basic shapes, just like that. And set this to triangle is what we're looking for. Set that to three waves of unison. Turn the detune down to 0.03. Just like so. Blend knob, leave it where it's at. Phase is good. Random is good. Level, turn that shit down. Turn that shit all the way turn down. Turn that shit all the way down. And octave, we're going to go for plus two, just like that. And then I'm also going to create a macro right now. I'm going to put uh, macro one on the semitones, just like this. Can you click on macro one for me, Parker? On that little, on the one, on the one sign. Yeah, I think it's 25 is what I'm looking for. We'll pull that down. We check that for me. Check if it's 25. 25. And yep. the reason why I did this is so you guys can kind of play with this sound and get kind of weird with it. We're just going to leave it at zero, though. And we're going to call this FM. All that extra stuff is so good. Yeah, exactly. You can automate that and play with it later so you can make your own sound from it. Uh, we're going to keep it stock just like that. So it's 25. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a uh, filter real quick. And the filter is going to be a comb plus, which is going to be in the miscellaneous. Nope, just kidding. It's going to be in the flanges. Flying on. <laughs> comb plus, right? Make sure A is going there and the cutoff is going to be set back to 276. 276. Oh, wait, no. This is where it gets weird when it does this. Oh, yeah. Turn on the, the key, key tracking. tracking. Yeah. Now, now turn it. 276. I don't know why. Somebody probably knows why that is, and they'll probably tell me in the comments below. Also, if you're having a good time, go ahead and tell us in the comments below. If you hate us, then go ahead and comment that, because that give helps us, us some, too, uh, haters. Give us some tiny horns. Give us a little bit of tiny horns. Huh? Maybe dose tiny horns. Do maybe quats. Quats tiny horns? Quats tiny horns? <laughs> Tinier, dude. Even tinier? <laughs> quats. Sweat? Sex? Yep. Etz? Okay. Uh, <laughs> resonance is going to be set to right around noon. We're going to go like 44%. That looks good, right, Parks? Yeah. Pan is good. Mix knob is good. Drive is good. Let's hear how that sounds. Pretty boring so far, but don't worry. We're getting there. Okay. Um, next thing we're going to do is... I think that's it for this page. I'm fucking flying. What up, bro? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Um, oh, yeah. We're going to do that, too. Go to length. Okay. So, for this guy right here, bam. Throw this on to LFO1. I believe, right, Parker? Yes. Okay. This is going to be set to uh, 
15 is what we wanted at. This is like your LFO, right? If you want to mess with this, but we're just going to leave it how it is because we're not going to mess with it too much. Just like so. Come on, baby. And then actually, we're, we're sending to put this to fourths, I believe. So what's the length at? Or the LFO rate? Length is... Uh, no, no, over there. This one? Yeah. 39? 38. 38. Okay. I'm going to call this LFO rate. LFO rate. So I can mess with that if I want to. I'm just trying to make some macros, make some interesting stuff, you know? Uh, next thing is we got a drive, too. Go on that drive for me, Parker. Down on the macro. Yeah, we got that on a bunch of stuff, I think, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, that's on A warp. Okay, cool. So I'm going to put this. This is like a fun kind of drive knob. We're going to put this down to like, what I got that at? Six. So put it on the FM from B and set it to six. And we're going to call this drive. We're going to get some interesting stuff with using macros. And I'll show you why it's cool. Drive. Cool. Um, and then turn the drive up to 69. Mm -hmm. 69%. Didn't do that on purpose, I promise. All right, cool. We're getting somewhere. Uh, next, we're also going to put this on. Is the drive on anything else? Yeah, it's on other stuff in the effects. Okay, cool. Great. Uh, okay, let's get our sub going. So our sub web is going to be uh, parabolic, which I think this is what it is, which is essentially a kind of, instead of a rounder sign, it's kind of more of a square sine wave, um, which kind of gives it a little bit more harmonics. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, turn the level all the way down, and I believe that we're also going to have LFO1 on the, uh, yes, we're going to have LFO1 on the level. It's going to be... And turn it to direct out, which is going to be uh, automating the level of uh, the sub to this shape, like we're doing the rest of our uh, oscillators. Nice. Okay. And then next, we're going to go ahead and put on a uh, noise oscillator, and we're going to set this to, I think it's bright white. Or where is it? Organics. I always forget where this shit is. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Click on it. Yeah. Analog. Okay, cool. Analog, bright white. That's what we're looking for. Just like that. That nice white. That whoa, dude. Whoa, bro. It's gotta be. You talking nice about drugs on my channel, dude? No, dude. Just you know. Whoa, bright, bright, whoa, dude. Bright as a light. Okay. You know. Just making sure. Come on, come on. This hey. is this is PG. Hey, this is a PG channel, PG motherfucker. XLNT. <laughs> you can say fuck once in PG thirteen. That's what you told me. Oh yeah, one exactly. time. Just once. Yeah, we already blew that shit. Um, okay. <laughs> Pitch is going to be set. Make sure you get the pitch exact for me, Parker. What's the pitch at for the white noise? 60 sevs. So 60 sevs percentiles, just like that. And then turn the level down. Okay. And then level is going to be set. Is it all the way down? Yeah. yeah. And then LFO1 put on the level just to like four, just like a little bit. This, all this stuff's down. Okay, good. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead and get into some of our effects. We might come back to this page because I fucking probably forgot something. Deal with it. Okay, effects. I'm going to go ahead and load up the chain right now. I got it saved to save time. See what I did there? And tying in lead base. That's the one I'm looking for. Bam. I'm going to turn these guys off and we'll go through them one by one so you can play along at home. Just like so. And we'll start with just the distortion. Okay, distortion. You want it to tube. And you want the drive all the way down and the mix all the way up. And what you're going to do is you're going to put on LFO1 on the uh, drive, just like so. Wait. Yes. On the drive, just like so. Bam. And that's going to be set back to like 40, 45 is what we're looking for. And then click on the uh, our drive on the macros over there, Parker, because I think I might have done it there too. Click on that. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then also take the drive macro and put that on to drive as well. And you're going to pull it back to like this little this little light thing, which is at 33. Perfect. Nice. Let's see how that's sounding. It's Still coming, sounds it's the coming alive. <laughs> it's coming alive, dude. <laughs> it's coming alive. Yeah. All right. Hyper dimension is next. And that texture. That's right. Rate is at 40%. Detune's at 25. Mix all the way down. Dimension size all the way down and mix all the way down. But we're going to do some uh, LFO-age or some spreadage. spreadage wides. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put LFO1 on the mix of the hyper. And I'm going to go put that to uh, around 51. This is a cool little trick. So essentially as the sound is starting and as it's, as it's ending, when it ends, it's getting a lot wider. Does that make sense? Totally. I hope it does. 
<laughs> you say yes. Mama. Wide, wide tail. Yeah. So think about it. It's going to start from here and it's going to open all the way up to this max point, which is going to be here. And then it's going to shut in this kind of manner. So that's kind of like a motion. I think what's cool about these LFO shapes is a lot of people don't think about it. Is like, if you think like of an on off, it's like up or down, right? A, a triangle is just like kind of more gradual and kind of more precise. Yeah. But like a human, like if you had a knob and you were turning a knob, this is essentially the shape that you would be turning it in. Yeah. I don't know if that's good. Speed. It helps me to visualize that. Um, so I don't know if that's like a good little. I think it's going to be helpful for them too. Nugs of notch. Nugs right of there. notch right there. But yeah. when you went through the, you know, the ADSR. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I think that helps everybody a lot. Yeah. Because when I first started, I I didn't understand the shapes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the like visual how, part is really important. Yeah. So I think they're going to like that. If you guys like that, comment that shit down below. Comment it down below. Visualize. Visualize, okay? Visualize your goals and your dreams. Just like Conor McGregor and other people and us. <laughs> Nobody's We've, even talked about him in like forever. Bro, he's taking a break, okay? Dude. Give him a break. Shh, shit, Can you go man. back up? I didn't for, you, you. You're skipping ahead. Parker's ahead of the class, guys. You're an AP right now. AP synthesis. I'm in honors. <laughs> honors, okay. <laughs> Put this on the dimension and pull this back down to like... Uh, 45, 44. All right, let's hear how that's sounding. So if you hear it in headphones, it starts as like kind of centered and then it goes to the both left and right ear, which is kind of nice. Uh, the next thing we have is a filter. We have the low um, MG6 is what we're looking for. Cutoff is at 62 hertz. Resonance all the way down. Drive all the way down. Fat all the way down. Pan in the middle and mix all the way up. And then LFO one is also going to go on uh, the cutoff, but it's going to go shift option or shift windows click because we want it going both ways, kind of like us. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, quote from Biodome. <laughs> Do you know that movie? That shit's so old, dude. <laughs> Have I said I that before? No. Okay. No, you've never quoted Biodome. Okay. Before. <laughs> I remember that movie. <laughs> Does that mean it goes both ways? Yeah, kind of like us, huh? And I do that. That shit was so Watch funny. Watch Biodome, kids. <laughs> what was the other movie? Like Caveman? Like Encino they, Man. They bring the fucking Yeah, caveman it's resurrected. Back. Can't remember. That's that our shit. backyard, bro. <laughs> Set this to 67 is what you're looking for. <laughs> it's kind of filtering a little bit more uh, using more of a low pass. So we're doing it again, essentially. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a chorus effect. Chorus effect, it, mix knob is going to be at 27%. Uh, low pass filter is going to be at a thousand, and uh, feedback is going to be at ten percent. Depth at twenty six milliseconds. Delay is at zero. Delay one is at five, and the rate is at point oh eight. Cool. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some reverb. So add your reverb just like so. Uh, reverb uh, mix knob is going to be at sixteen percent. Spin depth all the way. Spin twenty eight. High cut 65, low cut 55, decays at 7 milliseconds, size is at 0. And if I'm going too fast, don't forget it's in the download description below, but just pause and slow down because that is the best way to learn. The only reason I'm going fast is to try not to make this video too long. Um, yeah, there's no LFO on that. Make sure it's switched to Hall as well. Next, let's get some multi-bandage. Multi-bandage? Multi-banded. Like Heal it up real oh, quick, yeah, you know? Multi-bandaid. Uh, threshold at noon, ratios at 4 over 1, attacks at 90, release is at 90, gain is at 23.9, and like I said, mix all the way up. Oh shit, that's doing something. Oh. I'm going to pull the master down. That's probably what I forgot to do if I killed your ears, sorry. Nice, now it's starting to sound more like it. All right, cool. Next thing we're going to do, kids, is we're going to add some EQ here. And what this EQ is going to be doing is going to be... Parker, did you mess with it? You did. What, the EQ? <laughs> oh, wait, maybe you no, didn't. No, no. Oh, I know why it's doing that. Okay, never mind. Uh, EQ, go ahead and set it just like that. Um, you're going to have the gain at 7.4 decibels. Q is all the way down. Frequency is at 4066. And then on the, this left side, we're going to set it to a low cut. Frequency is at 138, Q's at 46, and gain's at noon. And then we're going to put LFO on the frequency. Shift, option, click that boy. Just like that to 41. 41 is what we're looking for. 41 hertz. Oh, no. I've, oh, I'm moving shit. I fucked up. I need to put this back to where it went. It was like right there. Okay, I'm going to pull that down. That needs to go to 41. Just like so. What is the frequency knob at, Parker? 138. 138. Okay, cool. Let me fix that. 
Nice. It's getting there. Yeah. All right, cool. And then I got to do some stuff that I forgot to do, apparently. All right, click on the drive for me, Parker, on the four. Yeah. And then, okay, cool. So on the drive, I have this also set on this EQ. So if you want to pull some top end back out, you can do that. And have it go backwards to around minus 15 is what you're looking at. And then scroll back up the effects, Parker. Let's see if I need to put some stuff on there too. All right, perfect. The drive, I do have it also on the low uh, the low six, just like so. And what's cool is like what this is doing is wherever the knob is turning, it's essentially moving that. And it's not necessarily moving the LFO, where the LFO rate is. Because LFO is still like that. So you can get some different type of stuff rather than just minimal. one. Yeah, exactly. So macros are kind of fun in that sense. Uh, 27 is what we're looking for. Two sevs. Nice. Hi. <laughs> uh, next thing we got is, um, I think I need to check. Is that on four? Cool. I got, yeah. all my, I got all my macros. I need to do one more thing. Can you do me a favor, Parker? Ho hover over uh, uh, LFO one for me. I think there's one thing I'm missing on there. All right, let's check that. Uh, let's see, I got volume, A warp. Oh, that's what I forgot, A warp. All right, cool. Let's go back to oscillator, the oscillator page, and let's go ahead and put oscill LFO1 on to uh, FM from B on oscillator A. And that is going to be set to 10 is what we're looking for. This might make a big difference. Let's see. Nice. Okay, cool. We're almost there. Uh, now that's done for this side of it. Now let's get into the processing to really finalize it for you guys, okay? Oh, yeah. We just got to put the oven. You know We're going to start saying? putting on the oregano. Put some glaze on there. Some glaze. Some, some nice buttery pepper. fucking spread. Some buttery spread, dude. <laughs> What are we doing with our lives? I have no idea what All we're right. talking about. Um, okay, so I got this effect rack here. It is in the download description for you guys. I'm going to go through one by one. Let me turn all this stuff off real quick. I'm going to show you the main thing, uh, which is there's also a filter on here, which you guys can mess with it yourself. Um, I used it to do some more uh, automation because uh, the filter, well, I'll get into it. I'm going to leave it on for right now because it's doing some elev. Well, no, I'm going to turn it off. Fuck you. You're off. <laughs> Okay, so overdrive, you're going to set the drive. I think this is pretty much stock. It's just 1.8, 4.57, 1, so drives at 50, tones at 50. Everything's 50, basically. Next thing I got is a chorus, uh, high pass at 74.4. Uh, I think I messed with this stuff, too. I don't even know remember what it does. 7 milliseconds and 3 milliseconds, 1.90 for the amount. Rates at 1.01 over, one, oh, sorry, 1.01 01 hertz and the dry wet's at 13 percent is what you're looking for are you checking that chorus thing yeah yeah it's, so i did mess with it no no it's oh no that's stock okay and seven besides the dry wet yeah. and the high pass i mm -hmm. turned down okay ott is what we want from me right you know me what fuck damn <laughs> just fucking blowing it ot me let's take a quick vap you. break you got your vap at home it's 4 30 somewhere ba -da, right ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Is that Yanni? That was the uh, the intermission music. Oh no, that was no, that's George that was Michael. A, yeah, sexy sax man. Yeah. No, that's George <laughs> Michael, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. They hit a saxophone hit. Smack it, dude. It's hot in these big room jackets. Dude. I know, dude. Shout out this these jackets. I always go the wrong side. Yeah, it's okay too, you know. It's 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 hot to be a big room it's, duo, yeah. you know. Sometimes because these beats are fire. Fucking oh, fwags. God. Fwags. If you guys want jackets? Uh, let us know in the comments below. We're trying to, you know, we might make some for you guys. I don't fucking know. Maybe we'll give one away for free. Yeah, maybe. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Ott uh, set at seventy four percent, and I pulled some highs and mids like I always do. Should be sounding like this. <laughs> Shit, that's fucking loud. Let me turn on the volume to minus seven six. Just like the other one. Now, it sounds super distorted right now, but we're going to change that when we get into our filtering. Okay, next thing, I added a corpus. And the reason why I added the corpus is to add some more metallicness. Uh, this is all pretty much stock. I turned the LFO on at 42%. 0.03. Oh, yeah, point. Fuck me. Jeez. Your mouse is covering the oh. number of what you're trying to say. 0.32. Phase go. at 180. Tune is at 386.38. Uh, opening's at 32. Decay's at 104. Radius at 57. And it's set to pipe. 
and width is at 83% with the dry wet at 24. Uh, a lot of people are using Corpus a lot. I can hear it, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's kind of Pipe fun dreams. to play with it. Yeah. But I don't I don't know if I really like am always using it in my sounds yet. I'm kind of doing it if it's like I hear it in the sound. Um, it, it's just, it's really hard to really dial it in. You know like, what's funny though? What are you it's like at? all of our, all, all of us Ableton users, we all want gross beat from FL. And all the FL dudes want Corpus. Corpus is really? like our fucking gross beat. You know we'll what I'm saying? Take that, FL. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. Fuck fucking, your gross beat, fucking bro. Fucking fruity. I could pitch that. I could pitch a. I could make a gross beat. Yeah. We just, just pitch it down. Pitch that shit. Cut it in pitch half. Pitch it down and... twelve. Done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Gross beat does something else too. Yeah, we like that shit. Yeah. Uh, next thing you're gonna do is they're gonna go ahead and add a filter. And what I did with the filter is I'm gonna pull up the automation and. I'll show you what I did. Well, actually, let me just play it real quick. Nice. So what that filter is doing is I drew an automation in. Thank you, Baker, for backing up. Let them see that. I'm going to show you what the automation looks like. It looks like this. It's just kind of the same type of shape almost. You can see it's kind of open really fast and then close really fast. And what that's doing is uh, that's creating a lot of his uh, that kind of whoa. It's kind of already doing it in the sound itself, but it kind of needed to finalize. Add some more. Nice. Kind of cleans up the residue from all the other shit going on, too. Exactly. And then the last thing I have here is a nice EQ. I'm going to turn it up just a bit, and let's hear how that's sounding. EQ with just the lows and the highs cut, just a little bit of round off. Nothing too crazy, right? You guys can do that if you want. I don't think I put it in the rack, but it sounds like this. Oops. Here it comes. Now. <laughs> Bam. So that's how you guys do that. That's how you make that first sound. One down, two to go. There you have it. Let's keep it moving, right, Parker? Oh, yeah. Next sound we got here is this little bass fill, which sounds like this. It's like a little getter fill, which sounds really a lot like uh, Rip and Dip or yeah. Fucking, I don't fucking know. Um, One of his newer ones. Yeah, one of his newer ones. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make that right now. Let's go ahead and shift command T. And while I'm doing this, Parker, why don't you go tell him about Future Bass while I'm getting everything set up. Future Bass coming at you guys April 1st. Mm -hmm. We're going to have like over 50 serum presets. You're going to have tons of different samples. It's going to be like Cartel, but for Future Bass. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're going to be picking your fish up, dude. Future Bass. <laughs> go go some, some bass some, fishing. Yeah, putting some bass in your tracks. It's going to be sick. Dude, who the uh, fuck is Texas? What are you God, doing? This Jeez. Is ridiculous. Tell them, tell them to fucking. Gosh, I can't go. get any. You're gone fishing. I'm gone You're fishing. You're gone fishing. Future Bass, guys, coming April 1st. Anyways, let's keep it moving. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make this sound for you guys. This should be oh, we got some we got some a lot of work to do in this one too. <laughs> yeah, this one's a, this one's pretty long. Okay, so for this guy, I'm gonna go ahead and turn. Is this one turned off? No, it's not. Okay. Sick. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Off to a good start. All right. First thing we're gonna do is basic shapes analog. Basic shapes. Set this to a square wave, just like so. Uh, Everything is pretty much stock. We're gonna do FM from B. Like so, and set that to around, f actually to 50%, just like that. Uh, turn the level all the way down, and everything is good on that one. Oscillator B, we're also going to do basic shapes. This is what, like, Getter, he does all his stuff with basic this shapes. This is his favorite. Yeah, and he always goes, like, square in a triangle, or triangle into something else, or triangle in a triangle. That's pretty much the sound. Uh, plus four for the octave. And semitone is also going to be set to plus three, actually. Uh, we're going to have it is set to sync, just like that. I'm going to click it over in the warp. Uh, and I'm going to set that to 1.36 is what I'm looking for. Bam, perfect. Okay. That's looking good. Let's go ahead and make our first LFO. It's going to look a little something like this. Round it up like that. Pull this guy over to like, is that to the F? Yeah, yeah pull to this the to the F. And then I'm going to click this down like so, bam, just like that, and put this to like the halfway point. Cool. Is it more rounded? Yeah, it's more rounded, so yeah, round bit. it up like that. That looks good. And then, yeah, looks cool. Looks tasty. Looks tasty. Set this to uh, trigger and set it to half for right now. And then I'm also going to put this on LFO1. <laughs> Oops, that's loud, sorry. Um, and then I'm also going to put this on the sink as well. 
just like so. Oh, sorry, I forgot to turn the, tell you to turn the level down of uh, oscillator B. And then turn the sync down to like uh, nine is what we're looking for. That's like the, the basic sound of it right there. That yeah. Meow, like it's, I don't know what it is about You can about hear those. the little remnants in there. Yeah, the triangle waves have that, uh, that, that distinct like bark. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, so for our filter, we're going to use a HN12, which is a high pass and a notch, which is essentially what that stands for. Uh, normal, high, and HN12 is what I'm looking for. I think that's what uh, Kill the Noise likes, right? Yeah. We were just watching him. Yeah. That thing was dope. Uh, cutoff is going to be set to, uh, what's the cutoff set to, Parker, for me? Help me out here, buddy. 113 is what we're looking for. Or Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to throw LFO 1 on that, and I'm going to have that going to a little bit past noon at 20 is what I'm looking for. Cool. Make sure trigger's on your envelope, too. Uh, oh, yeah, put on triplet, too, because why not? Um, and then the resonance is going to be set up to... Uh, 32% is what we're looking for. And then have the LFO one also on the resonance, just like so. And have that down to 24 is what we're looking for. And next thing we're going to do is turn the frequency knob to 30%, just like so. And this is what really does a lot. Shift, option, click that. This high pass filter adds a lot to the sound. And set that to 50, just like that. It's getting hot. I'm gonna take my Nuts. jacket off, bro. Oh yeah. Oh, it's getting sexy uh -oh. in here. Oh shit. Uh oh. Do you work out? Now oh. you're now you're fucking solo. Oh, big dude. big. Uh, I can't be in a big, big room, room. Duo anymore, dude. <laughs> big room's dead. Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. I like big room. Okay, so uh, let's hear that sounding. And then if I mess with this, this is kind of fun. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to leave it on half right now because we're going to be doing uh, some macro stuff too as well. So put it to half. Okay. Uh, that's looking good. That's looking good. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and add the noise oscillator. It's going to be set to the stock AC hum one. Uh, and yeah, everything's stock on this. Just turn the level down and then have LFO one going to the level and pull that back down to what is it? 33? Yeah. 33 is what we're looking for. Let's hear how that sounds. <laughs> Cool. And I'm also going to add a sub oscillator for this. I'm going to just choose a regular sine wave and put LFO1 on the level, turn it down, and have it go all the way up. Cool. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is um, let's do some macro -age. Can you click on macro one for me, Parker? That's going to the master tune. We'll fuck with that later. Okay. Uh, okay. Oscillator, oh, sorry, macro two is going to be set. This is, I call this like the talk knob. It's kind of like a talky kind of sound. Uh, go ahead and put it on semitones and then shift option click or shift windows click that to 100. Right that. Now, you, what's cool about this is that you can macro this. But we're just going to put it to 50% is what we're looking for. So if you're like trying to do like getter stuff, you can kind of move that macro knob and automate and get some weird stuff. I just wanted to do that for you guys. You're welcome. I'm going to call that talk. Talk. Vocal. Perfect. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, uh, let's go ahead and add uh, LFO rate to uh, LFO1. Uh, sorry, macro to LFO1. And I'm going to set that to 41 is what I'm looking for. I don't like to put it too fast. Oh, it's already at 41 almost. 41 and I'll call this LFO rate essentially I'm just changing the LFO rate to I think it's like sixteenths and that's gonna be set to like right there 35 nice okay cool that's looking pretty good uh, let's get into our effects just like so I'm gonna go ahead and load that up load effect load chain got that right here I think I called it base fill Nice. All right, I'm going to turn these off. We'll go one by one so we can see what they're doing. Whoa, what did I just do? I think I just changed some routing. Whoa. Well, you like oh, I changed the, the talk now. That's what I did. Okay, cool. 
Uh, so first thing I got on here is hyperdimension. That is going to be pretty much uh, stock, I believe. So rate is at 40%, detunes at 25, unison's at 4, mix is at 50, size is halfway, and mix knob is down all the way, just like so. <laughs> Next thing we got is a little bit of tube distortion. Tube distortion is going to be drive is going to be set to 87%, and the mix is going to be at 63 uh, next thing we got is EQ. The EQ is going to be doing some uh, some movement too to get some pull out some extra formants to get it to talk a little bit more. Uh, frequencies of one is going to be at 210, and I'm going to put LFO one on that, and that's going to be set to right before noon at 10. Is the number we're looking for? I like saying that. That's the number we're looking for. Yeah, dude, I like that. You like that? We're looking for numbers. I'm looking for it. I don't we're know what for it is. Knobs, knobs, numbers. Uh, gain, Nodge. Nodge. <laughs> gain is also going to be to 10 and that's going to be set to a notch and watch what it does. That's pulling that foreman out right there. A foreman is like the fuck. What's a foreman Parker? <laughs> it's like kind of like those Talking. mouths, like the mouth sound. Yeah. Cause your mouth is like a filter. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's the, the, uh, the frequencies that are similar to your mouth. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't <laughs> know. Making shit foreman, up. Foreman I know that is such a hard like thing to explain, you know? It's like the shape of your mouth. It's the That's thing the that best. makes it sound like it's a person. Yeah. That's it. Like in Melodyne and shit when there's a foreman and yeah. you have to like move it. Like... They don't know what Melodyne is. Oh, Maybe they do. Christ. Sorry. Uh, okay. And uh, I'm going to put this also on the frequency of this. Set it to notch on this side of the EQ and set that to 14. Like so. Perfect. And then we're also going to put it on the gain knob too and pull that back to 10 is what we're looking for. Now here's another big part of the sound. It's going to be the reverb filter, which we're going to add right now. Make sure it's set to filter or to reverb. It's on miscellaneous. Uh, cutoff is going to be uh, right here at 35 hertz. I'm going to put LFO 1 on that and shift option or shift windows. Click that down to minus 14. So I have it go backwards. I'm going to go all the way back. All the way back. And resonance is going to be set to 19, drive all the way down, damp all the way down, pan at 50. Nice. Next, let's go ahead and add a flanger. Ooh, someone put an air on. That feels great. I yeah, did that. Man. Flanger, the rate's going to be all the way down. We're using the flanger like a filter here. Remember, you guys can use some of these effects as filters if you turn the rate down uh, and mess with them. Uh, it's kind of cool. You can get some different types. You can use the reverb uh, to make essentially kind of like this filter here. Not exactly, but something similar to it different texture yeah depth is going to be at 40 percent feedbacks at 50 phase is at 241 and the mix knobs at 34 <laughs> percent i'm gonna turn the master down just, just a little bit okay and the next thing we're going to add is going to add a multi-band compressor with the mix all the way up threshold is at minus 18 over one ratios four over one attacks at 90 releases at 90 gain is at 11.6 very nice. Okay. Now that's pretty good for our effects. We're almost there. I mean, you could pretty much call it done at this point, but we're going to go ahead and do some more stuff. I'm going to add uh, LFO2. I'm going to make this look a little weird. Pull up LFO2 for me. Okay. LFO2. I'm going to pull this little dot right here. It's going to pull it to the center, just like so. I'm going to pull this dot down, right? And I have it in the in the saved preset, which you can download for free below. Uh, I have like a whole, it's set to a bar, or sorry, two bar. So like if you just hold down the note, you can do, it does a bunch of pitch changing. Cool. I'm not going to do all that right now, but uh, you can just mess with it the way that you want to. But we'll just do the first one, which is the one that matters. Uh, I'm going to add a little point right here. And I set that to like kind of half, you can't really see it, but halfway where that little, where the almost a little bit past halfway to this little bar right here. And then I pull another one down. Uh, to like right around there and then I'm gonna kind of curl it just like so just a nice little curl I don't know why I showed anybody because that's not doing anything but it will all right cool so and normally I have it like having a bunch of little of these and that's essentially gonna go on the master chain which is what we're gonna do right now so I'm gonna go to the matrix and I'm gonna say uh, LFO 2 right I wish you could, I guess you can't really do this another way because this way is like kind of confusing. But I'm going to say, hey, LFO2, I want you to control the global master tune, right? And I'm going to set this to back and forth just like so. I'm also going to add uh, an aux source on this. And I'm going to say, I'm going to set this to uh, macro one. And this is just a fun way for you guys to mess around with it. And then make sure this is pulled up to uh, 12 is what we're doing. So we're going up a full octave. So essentially what we drew here 
if we were to go all the way up, that would be a full octave. Right here is like kind of like two. I mean, you could just set it to two, but I wanted people to be able to really go like, be able yeah. to mess with the pitch a lot. You know what I mean? Totally. Uh, and make sure it's set to trigger as well. Sorry about that. Uh, and then turn the pitch all the way up. We'll call this pitch. Here goes. And set it to two bar. Sorry. There it is. So it goes. That's what it's doing right there. A little dive bomb. A little dive bomb. Um, that's looking pretty good. I think I have one more thing to add for LFO uh, 1. Can you put on LFO 1 for me, Parks? And let's see. Let's check my work. Let's see. A volume. A warp. Ah, I always forget the warp. What am I doing here? Okay. Let's go to oscillator. Well, at least that's an easy one to find. Okay. This is going to be set to FM from B and then sh also, sorry, LFO 1 to FM from B on oscillator A. Shift option or shift windows. Click that and then pull this guy back to minus 12 reverse. That did a lot. Nice. Just that little minus touch. Yeah. And I didn't do much processing. I just kind of wanted to make it a little bit louder and a little bit grittier because it sounds really good in Serum by itself. Yeah. So all I really did here is I added, uh, I think, oh, let me pull down the processing. Just click drag that, just like so. And I just have basically some overdrive with the dynamics turned all the way down uh, so that it's not compressing it at all. And this type of filter shape, which is at 1.68, 4.40, and dry wet at 33. Um, and OTT, I'll move that out of the way. You don't have to zoom in, it's pretty standard. Just pull the highs and pull the mids and set it to 61%. Now it should be sounding like this. Oh, that's so loud. Yeah. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. But yeah, I have it down here too. Perfect. Okay, nice. cool. Now we're cruising. Okay, next thing. Let's go ahead and make the uh, little birdie sound that sounds like this. <laughs> that's so cool. I wanted to make like a weird... Like I thought it would be really cool to like make a really weird sound and see. I mean, all the sounds are weird, but like a not like a typical yeah. bass sound or you know. I just wanted to remake something a little bit different, uh, the best way I could. And this like you could bounce this and like put it in and warp it. Oh with it yeah. And use it like how kind of Tynan does. That's what he's really cool at doing. I think. Yeah. I think a lot of those dudes do a lot of like audio. Yeah. Samplage and stuff. And what's cool about Future Bass? Uh, for you guys, uh, even if you don't make future bass, um, we're going to add a Foley pack, a big, big Foley folder in there. That's going to be a lot of different type of sounds, not just like your, your, your standard Foley, uh, but also like a Foley that we've put effects on to make yeah. some really interesting percussive stuff, uh, stuff like you would f essentially use in a track like this. Exactly. So make sure you guys look out for that because it, it is a future bass pack and it's like targeted and marketed towards those people. But at the same time, I mean, most people that make trap usually make future bass too. Yeah, exactly. And and future bass is like, it's the those kind of foley sounds are are a big part of future bass too. Yeah. You know? and, and look, there's there, a bass from the future. There it is. <laughs> Get some trigger sounds and shit. Yeah. N sixty four sounds. We're know? trying to make it a really really creative pack for you guys. That's not just like your standard stuff. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff in there, which we'll go over soon. Super excited. Yeah, we'll very go over very soon uh, all the stuff that is in it. I Probably in the next video, we'll probably go over yeah. everything that's in there for you guys, uh, which will be a lot of fun. Okay, so without further ado, let's get back into this. Let's make a birdie thing. So this birdie thing, I'm going to go ahead and load up a serum real quick. I dragged my mini down. It should be sounding like this. Like, oh, like this. Perfect. Let's make serum big so everyone can see it. All right, this one shouldn't take us too long. All right, so for this one, oscillator A, uh... Can you click on that for me? I need to know where it is, where I found that. I think I, f no, on the wavetable. Yeah, okay. So go to vowel and set it to allophones. These are all like vowel-y, formanty sounds, which is kind of interesting, right? We yeah. just talked about that, didn't we, class? Getting all formanted out. Formanted out, dude. Uh, wavetable position is going to be set to 96. Perfect. All right, and set that to three waves of unison, like so. And detune is going to be set to 0 0.06, just like so. Perfect. Uh, turn the blend. Oh, sorry, leave the blend where it's at. Phase is good. Random all the way up. Level, turn that down. Um, we're going to do some stuff with that. Oh, yeah, click on the remap. Oh, we did some weirdness here. Click on the, the little pencil. 
Oh, what the fuck did I do? I think I loaded something. All right, we're going to set this to uh, remap. Remap one, just like so. And I think I loaded. Click on the presets for me, Parker. I don't even know what the fuck I did. I must have used something uh, a bit crazy. Nope, that's not it. I'm just guessing here. <laughs> I don't want to make this shit. This shit looks crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wobbles. Nope, that's not it. Here, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do it. Fuck it. I'll make it zero. We can make it basic, All right? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna click it. Go like that. Pull this down just like so. Essentially, all it is. This is wild. I'm gonna do a click here. Click here. Click here, click here, click here, click here. Don't worry if you download it in the description, it'll be in there. It's kind of like a, a, a wonky kind of uh, bendy -y thing like this. Whoop. Loop. Just like so. Loop. It's fine. It's not a big deal. We just wonk it out, dude. Yeah, it's nice. Nice little, just make it like a little snake. <laughs> make it a little snakey. A little snake, snaker. What is that? I don't even, like I don't a... really fuck with remap. I must have loaded some random preset and just got weird. Well, this sound is weird, so that makes sense. Perfect. Uh, that works. <laughs> it's so not perfect, but whatever. It's fine. It looks good. It looks great. Okay. I'm going to X that out. And then I'm going to set the remap. Uh, leave it all the way down. That's fine. Okay. And uh, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make LFO 1. It's going to look like this. I'm going to click that down and make it kind of like that. Cool. That is going to be set on the wavetable position, like so. And pull it back a little bit. 40 sevs. Let's make sure it's making sound. Oh, you can't hear it yet. Oh, that's because I have the level down. Okay, and then uh, click on LFO2 for me, Parker. All right, LFO2, the shape's going to be like this. Just like show. And set this to uh, on the level of oscillator A. And set that to 93 is the number we are looking for. And set that to trigger and turn on triplets and set that to 32 trips. 32 trips. There it is. Oh, yeah. Birdie, birdie, birdie. And then also put this on remap too. Put it on there just a little bit. And pull that back to like 12. Little birdie. Not yet. I like that shit. <laughs> uh, next thing, I'm going to go ahead and add a sub oscillator. Uh, leave it at zero, and I'm going to put the LFO 2 on the level of oscillator of the sub oscillator. Turn it down and have it go all the way up like so. Ooh, there's that bird. Like um, that. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a filter. I'm going to add a reverb filter. Miscellaneous reverb. Let's see how it's sounding. This is just kind of a weird sound. Uh, okay, turn the uh, cutoff to 290. Is what I got it set at. Uh, I can't get it close. 286. That's fine. Uh, turn the resonance all the way, almost all the way up. Not all the way up. Almost past noon. 52%. Uh, mix knob all the way up. Pan 50. Damp is at zero and drive is at zero. There she is. She's whistling. She's a whistling. She's whistling Dixie. Uh, I'm going to put LFO2 on the wavetable position just like so. I'm going to pull it back to like six. Yeah, perfect. Uh, whoa. About to sneeze, but then it went away. Dude, you could have dab sneeze. Oh, man. I almost did. Dude. But no, no, now it's gone. Perfect time now for a gone, bat yeah. break. Whoa. It's about to explode my face off. We're the only channel on YouTube that remakes the entire drop, oh, by the way. Oh, my gosh, yeah. And vapes. It takes yeah, vape nobody breaks. does that. Nope. Also, we have too long of videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, hopefully you're here having a good time hanging out with us. Yeah, we're having a great time here. On a good excellent. Friday night. Oh yeah, making some beats, bro. What was that? What was that right there? I was making a beat, dude. Oh, okay, I was making a beat. Gotcha. Uh, okay, next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and oh, let me check something real quick. Is this on? I think. Oh, okay. LFO one also is going to be on the remap too, and that is gonna be set to about halfway. <laughs> Yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, that's looking good. Click on LFO2 for me, Parker. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So LFO1 and LFO2 are both on the remap. 
The remap, I don't even know what the fuck it's doing. It's just getting weird. Uh, effects, uh, let's go ahead and load up my effect chain. Load effect chain like so. And I got my bird right here. Open that up. Close all these. Pull this down. All right, turn that shit off. All right, first thing we're going to do is the hyperdimension. Hyperdimension is going to be set rate to 40%, detune to 25, mix at zero, size zero, and mix at zero. So this is pretty much not doing anything. <laughs> but you can turn it on if you want. Well, turn it on. Fuck it. I'm going to turn it up. There you go. Uh, I'm going to turn it up as always. Hey. Uh, a soft hey. clip for the distortion drives at 54, mix at a hundo. Just a little bit of distortion. Next, we're going to add a phaser. Phaser rate all the way down. We're using this like a filter, folks, like I just talked about. 26% and uh, frequency is at 383. Feedback's at 80. Phase at 180 and mix knob at 29. LFO 1 is going to go on the frequency like so. And this is just going to go up to around noon. Right, Parker? Or no, set it to 11. Loves. Goes to 11, dude. Spinal Tap. Oh, uh, yeah. Have you seen that movie? Fuck yeah, dude. Okay, good. I'm making sure I'm not too fucking old. <laughs> Everybody at home knows I'm old. We just old. named like three old yeah, ass old movies. Yeah, old ass movies. All these kids are going to be like, what the fuck? They're like, is Little Pump in it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, chorus. Uh, we got the rate set at 0 .08. Delay 1 is at 1.9. Delay 2, 1.9. Depth at 20.6. Feedback at 50 sevs. Low pass filter at 52.08. And mix at 56. Oh, that did a lot. I like that. That made it really weird. Okay, next, uh, we got just a basic EQ. Pretty standard, guys. Just cut the lows. That's all you got to do. Set it to low cut and just set it like that. Set it and forget it. Uh, next, I got a, a compressor on here. The mix at 100%. Gain all the way down. Release at 86.2. Attack at 90. Ratio at 4 over 1. And threshold at minus 24.5 dB. <laughs> and then next, we got a reverb. Reverb set to plate. Size at 7%, decay at 0, low cut at 0, high cut at 60, spin at 28, spin depth at 100, and mix knob all the way down. So you can turn this up if you want. Nice. That's already pretty much sounding like it. I think I need to yeah. do one more thing. So uh, click on LFO 1 for me. I probably forgot to put it on a warp again. Oh, it's on 5. Thing. Oh, shit. It's on the master tune. Okay, let's check. Oh, uh, yeah. A warp. Wait, go, go Cover over. I wasn't done there, buddy. Thank you. A warp. Uh, okay. A wavetable position. Good. A filter cutoff. That's what we forgot. Okay, let's put it on the filter cutoff. We go to oscillator page. Thank you. And I'm going to put this on the reverb filter. And this is just a small thing. It's going to be set to minus 7. Make sure it's going backwards. Like so. And the last thing we're going to do, besides getting into the uh, processing, which is none, I think, or barely any, uh, we're going to go ahead and set this on the master tune for LFO 1. Set it to constant over here. I'm oh, sorry, global and master tune. And then over here, we're going to say, hey, LFO 1, you control the master tune. And that's going to be set to 4, just like so. And then is that going one way? No, it's going back and forth. No, that's not right. What did I do? Is that the right one? LFO 1. I thought it was sounding fine the way it was. <laughs> I always fuck up the master tune. Uh, it's like super sensitive every time. Yeah. Fuck it. You don't have to do it. Just put it like this. Just leave it off. Fuck it. That sounds better. Yeah, it like sounds it. better yeah. like that. All right. Yeah, just leave it off. Fuck it. It's in the download description if you need it, but I thought it sounded fine. Okay. Next thing. That is all good. Let's go ahead and get into our processing. Oh, I do have a lot of processing. I'm going to copy that oh yeah and bring it down process process your sounds folks um i don't think it's doing too much to be honest with you i i just <laughs> i'm just gonna be real i don't know if i'm doing what i'm doing uh just kidding i know what i'm doing i'm very professional i think it's just gonna bring out the sound bring you know out the sound yeah i did this i'm trying to bring out harmonics do you guys know what that is texture post tones. yeah Exactly. Uh, overdrive filter set to, or sorry, just an overdrive set to 92.9 and 2.27. Drive at 50, tone at 50, dynamics at 7%, and drive at 50%. Sounds like this. 
Next, I have a frequency shifter. I was trying to get real weird. Uh, frequency shifter, LFOs at 18.3, rates at 0.58, phase at 180, and set it to shift and dry wet at 88.1. <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's just kind of spreading it a little bit. Next, I have OTT top and mids pulled up and 66% with a reverb uh, with the low cut kind of looking like this and the highs cut kind of looking like that at 2.50 shape at 0.5. All this is pretty much stock decays. You don't want to change at 649 and dry wet at 57. Should be sounding like this. Oh, and I also did some weird pitching. I think I did it in the here. automation. Yeah, which I will show you guys. Oh. What I noticed too is that uh, the all the post effects really make it blend in with everything else that's going on. Yeah, exactly. You know? So I did do it for a reason. Thank you, Parker. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to copy this, but essentially all I did was just kind of just use this. Uh, yeah, you could show them that. Just this little shape right here. You can just do what you want with it. You don't have to do this to make the sound, but uh, I went ahead and go back to your serum and I set this to 12. This is the best way to do anything, a little nug of nodge. Uh, if you're doing um, any sort of pitch bending in Ableton at all, if you're having a pitch bend, do not use the MIDI clip because it's fucked up. It's still fucked up in 10, I believe. Yeah. Ableton, what's going on? I don't know. Just, just fix that one. I'd be really stoked. There's probably some like legit reason why they do it I'm the sure. way they it's do probably it or really, something. I don't know. They use the clip and instead of doing the pitch bend. So just automate the pitch bend in Serum, and you have a lot easier time. So I have it touched already, so Ableton already knows. It says, do you want to uh, automate this? I'm going to make a new lane. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste Command V. Perfect. All right. And that should be yeah. sounding like this. And that's how you fucking do it, folks. Just that's like that. That's how you that. fucking do it. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget that we have Future Bass coming out April 1st for you guys. Uh, all of the uh, presets and racks will be in the download description below as well as uh, this person that we're going to show right now. They're so yeah. fun. <laughs> and this is this is huge, you guys. We're giving you guys three serum presets in this yep. one. Usually, you know, I don't... I try to find... I watch, you know, other YouTube tutorials and it's usually just one preset that they're yep. given for free or, you know, the biggest thing I've seen is like, you know, maybe a free project file. But like, you know, that's that's a lot. But, you know, yeah. we're giving you guys as much as we can. Yep, and uh, you know we felt like doing three sounds. And look out for those. Uh, look out for those uh, signature series drums for Tynan and in the, oh, yeah. the new Future Bass coming out. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to show you guys a uh, a song by a gentleman that sent us this song. His name is Murden Skimorph. That was what we were kind of playing in the beginning. We're going to play it on the way out. But before I do that, let me go ahead and show you guys our. Uh, this is his SoundCloud right here. If you guys want to check him out, we do take uh, songs uh, from our uh, listeners uh, or our viewers. If you guys want to send yep. us your song, we have a new email. Please send us a SoundCloud link, not an MP3, a SoundCloud link for us to check out at xlntfeedback at gmail.com. That is the new email if you want feedback to there be you heard. Have it. Uh, this gentleman sent it to us pretty recently. Uh, it's a pretty cool drum and bass track. We're checking it out. Always make sure you guys, too, check out our website for our other packs. Uh, we have plenty of uh, free downloads, too. You can see now Parker got this shit all cleaned up. There it is. Look, Look at, at that. all the YouTube videos, all the all presets free shit. right there for you guys. There will be more added, too, right? Yep. Yeah, we're going to be adding a lot more throughout the weeks. Also, too, what we will be having uh, now is we actually do offer uh, mentoring, if you haven't already known, through Skype or uh, through uh, in person if you're in, in the person. L.A. area. Hit us up, info at XLNT Sound. As well, if you need any production, mix, mixing, or mastering, uh, we offer our exactly. services and the studio here as well. Uh, yep. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to our crew in the back. Go ahead and show yourself, crew. Oh, yeah. Raul and Baker. We got crew in the other room, too. Some video people, Nick and Jacqueline, here yeah. helping us out today. Thank you guys so much. I don't killing know where you guys it. are at, but they're Absolutely working on some killing shit. It. Yeah, we got a whole team here, guys, and you guys are part of it. Thank you so much for 6K. Let's give away something. Oh, yeah. Let's give a pack away. Let's give away a pack. Yeah, six K. Do what do they got to do? Uh, well, I'll make a post and we'll do, we'll share it, like it, and then we'll pick we'll pick after twenty four hours. Okay, there you go. Pick a random. We'll random give winner. away. Let's give away something good. Yeah. Come on. I think we should do. Uh, should we do two packs? Should we do cartel and we could do cartel. We give away cartel. That's yeah. Good. All right, that's we'll a give huge away cartel. One. Awesome. Okay, there you go. Look for it soon. We will be. Uh, We'll be putting up a look for a post we'll on our Instagram. That this week, yeah. At XLNT Sound. Make sure you guys are subscribed. 
Uh, make sure you guys are saturated, subscribed first and foremost. Super sat. Make sure you guys are wubbed. 110%. All that shit. Limited like, all that bullshit. All right, let's get right into this guy. Let's ride it out. Let's ride this bitch out. I'm going to turn this shit off so I don't have Shout out Murden. Shout out Murden for this dope drum and bass track. There you have it. Check him out on SoundCloud. Check out our YouTube, Facebook, at XLNT Sound. We, uh, fuck me. We're out. <laughs> Damn it. Tiny horns. <laughs> Tiny horns, folks. <laughs> Peace out, motherfuckers! Okay. You recognize, you recognize that snare? Okay. No. That's the snare from uh, Signature Series. It's a It's a getter snare. Oh, you're right. I think so. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Oh, we can play this out, right? Oh, we'll pull it out.